All right, here we go. This is going to be another shortcut question answered. And this one is from LightZ. And it says, so let's say I have an image overlay in the video. I can fade it in, but I want it to be kind of a scrolling fade in. So it appears in full opacity, just animated, appearing from left to right. Is that possible with current filters? We've got a couple of answers. I think this one here with Mask Simple, this is an excellent answer, it came from Elucian, and it was to use Mask Simple to keyframe the horizontal, set the width and height to a maximum softness, uh, and minimum keyframe to horizontal. And then go ahead and keyframe the values, and bam, you have it left to right. Uh, Tim Lau tried. He had text scroll in from left to right, but the response was, no, that's not what I want. I actually want the image or the text to be static, and I want the fade to be what is animated. So let's see if we can do that in Shotcut. I have a pre-made project. I've got just a few things in my playlist, some things that I'm going to play with, a static image, a static background. I have a video that I can put in there because I figured it'd be fun to do it with a video instead of just static images or text. And let's see what we can get. I'm first going to pull this video of an earthquake into my film here. And uh, there's a person there. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crop out this video. So I'm going to add a filter and I'm going to add a crop. Here we go. Let's do just a rectangle. I'm going to select, uh, let's do something in this range for this image. That's fun. We'll be able to see the movement if I just put it here on the truck. And then I'm going to choose a chroma key that's not going to interfere because you see there's a black tire in that picture. So I'm going to go ahead Put that chroma key to that green. There we go. That's great. That's our padding background color. Now that's going to let me put in a chroma simple and use that same color. And there we go. Now I have a cropped film on top of my background. And this could be a film in the lower in the lower track, or it could be static in the lower track. It doesn't matter. It's not really where I want it. Let's say I want to use it down here. In this bottom corner, that's going to be simple. I'm going to use the size, position, and rotate. And then I'm just going to drag it down into that area where I want to have that film display. Great, that looks good. Not a problem. Now that it's there, it's time to go ahead and do what the question asked. And just as a reminder, the question was, can we have a scrolling fade in so that the, the fade-in is what's animated, not the actual image. So back to Shotcut, here we go. We're gonna use the suggestion of a mask, which was a great idea. Mask simple, shape, there we go. And you can see now I have a mask shape on the page here in my scene. I'm going to just try and position it so that I can see the entire video. A little bit taller, there we go, perfect. And now what I'm gonna do is increase the softness so it's a little bit smoother. That's gonna require that I increase the height a little so that the top doesn't get too soft, there we go. And if I wanted to animate this, all I have to do now is put it all the way up against the side Increase the width, there we go. And as you can see, if I move the slider down, the image disappears. And that's great. That's kind of what we want, but it's the reverse. So now I'm gonna select operation, subtract, and oh, where did my image go? And here we go, we subtract, and look, my image fades in from one side to the other. So that will be the value that we need to keyframe. So on width, I'm gonna hit the keyframe clock, and here we go. Ooh, made a mistake there. I'm gonna remove it. Yes, remove that. That's way too much video. 
I probably want that transition to happen somewhere. I want it to be done by here. That, that's really long. So I'm going to select my earthquake clip. I'm going to hit S. That's going to split it. I'm going to select that smaller clip now. And I'm going to select my mask simple. And with that clip selected, I'm going to now keyframe the width. I probably should have put it at the beginning. I'm going to go ahead and remove that keyframe. Put that over there. Here we go. Remove. This will be my starting point. I'm going to have this accelerate quickly and then slow down. So I'm going to move it about a third. There we go. I'm going to bring it into maybe no more than half the video, then I'm going to extend the distance this next time. I'm going to have it go to maybe three-fourths of the video, like that. And then I'm going to have it finish with the video fully visible, just like that. So let's go back to the beginning, hit play, and there we go. There's our video. So one thing I noticed is I'm going to have to provide that mask on the timeline. Probably could have done that a lot easier, but I can just do that. So there we go. Just go back, select mask simple, select the larger piece of the timeline, put the width all the way over. That'll be seamless, no big deal. Probably I could have left it at 100% like it is then split it, gone back and edited only the piece that I wanted to make my transition, but there's always more than one way. So let's see how this looks. We have, there we go, we got the truck. It zooms in and um, the earthquake starts hitting and look at that truck go, that's fantastic. Now, what if, let's say I wanted to have that truck transition out at this point We've been watching it shake for a while. We'll hit S here, and I'll set up my new track, and we'll just bring in, here we go, we'll bring in an image from one of my favorite games, No Man's Sky. It's excellent. You should check it out. I'm, of course, going to put a filter on there, change its size and position, so size and position. I'm going to shrink it down to about the size of the truck video, like so. I'm gonna position it there, and let's see if we can get these somehow to one transitions out while the other transitions in. I actually have absolutely no idea if I'm gonna be able to do this. I haven't tried it before, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm gonna go to the end select my truck clip, split it. I'm going to remove what's under. Hmm. Maybe I'll remove it once I've got the animation done on the top piece. Let's do that. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to add a mask here. So mask, simple. That'll apply to the image on top. It's going to be the same process as before. I'm going to push it all the way over to the side. I'm going to try and center it, give it a height like so. And then I'm going to soften it a little bit, increase its height so that it's visible. And then I'm going to play with the width to make sure that my image shows up. That's fantastic right there. Great. So now there's my image. It will fade in. And what I need to do now is I need to keep the truck visible until this image starts to appear. And then I'll make the under image disappear. And hopefully that's going to work out well. So let's see. We'll put this on subtract so I can know what I'm dealing with. There's that image. Great fades in from that side. And now, like I said, I'm flying by the seat of my pants here, so we'll have to try and figure it out. I have to animate that. 
So let's select No Man's Sky, Still Image, Mask Simple. We'll go to keyframes. I'm going to start that keyframe on width. And I'm going to bring that keyframe in. Let's have it come in right about here. And let's subtract the width. There we go. We'll do this one pretty quick. So right about there. Go to the next. And we'll have this one slow down as it gets to the end. Slow down pretty significantly. And at the very end, 100% visible for sure. Good. All right, so that'll give me an idea. Now I can come back on my timeline and let's see how that looks. All right, so that comes in like that. A little bit quickly at first, and then it takes a while for it to fill in and finish. And then we're going to want that vehicle to be disappearing as it happens. I'm going to select the video of the truck shaking in the earthquake. I'm going to hit split at this point because I know that's when No Man's Sky is visible 100%. I'm not going to need these anymore, so I will remove them using X like so, and there we go. So by this point, we're going to want that truck to be wiped away. I uh, probably made a mistake there. I'm just going to give it a quick undo. I'm going to delete that. I probably want those extra seconds there to merge. So here's a little trick. I'm going to select both of those. I'm going to hopefully merge. There it is, more, merge with next clip. Good, there we go, back together. So let's see if we can figure this out. We have to get that truck to disappear as the image above appears. So let's start, No Man's Sky is gonna start right there. So by this point in the video, we should already have that truck disappearing. That's simple, I'm gonna go back to my mask. Looks like I have duplicates here. But that's okay. We're going to go to keyframes. That's fantastic. And it's, uh, that's why. Okay, that's fine. I can handle this. Think. Well, maybe I can't handle this. Now I'm making a mess. So, the problem that I ran into here is because I merged those clips when they had those filters. That's unfortunate. I'm just going to give it a control Z here. I'm going to go back until I have that all in one piece. That's fantastic. And I'm just going to select this clip. I'm going to go to the end. See, there's no problem. You can always recover, always. Not a problem. I'm going to remove that. Check this, look, back to just my four masks. Fantastic, a little control Z never hurt anyone. Don't be afraid to use it. And now back to where we were. We're going to select the earthquake, shaking clip. We're gonna go back to mask simple. We're going to go into our keyframes. And so by this point in the video, I should already have a setting so first things first, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to hit a keyframe. Then I'm going to slide, I'm going to scrub until I just start to see No Man's Sky right there. That's where I want to see it. And then I'm going to walk this filter from the hundred side. So I'm all the way from the other side of the video. And I'm going to start walking it. So it's got to start somewhere in here. I'm probably going to have to put overwrite in just so I can see where it is. There we go. So I'm going to start it here, and then its width is going to go until it consumes the entire video. So we'll do that like that. So I'm going to switch this to 
subtract again now that I have an idea of where it's going to be. And we're going to make it start to disappear, but just trail behind a little bit like that. Then we'll continue on. You'll see No Man's Sky is starting to come in. And then, of course, what I'm going to want to do is keep pace with it. So I'm going to fade that video just slightly ahead so it looks like No Man's Sky is consuming the truck video. I'm going to play ahead a little bit further. And I can see that No Man's Sky is starting to fall behind. So I drag that width a little bit more. And then pretty soon, No Man's Sky is at 100%. And my truck video should be invisible, just like that. Now, play it all back, and here's what it looks like. It looks like No Man's Sky has replaced the truck video. Now I will go back to my timeline, and as you saw, No Man's Sky disappeared there. That's easy enough. I just copy that clip, go to its end, like so, Control V, and then it'll have filters, but I don't need those filters. I need the size and position. I don't need the mask. So I can just remove the mask, like so. And there we go. That'll extend beyond. And then here's our finished. Here's our finished view right here. So we have the shaking. No Man's Sky comes in, and it erases the truck video just like that. So I hope that explains how to do several things: to crop, to use chroma key simple, and to use size and position and then to use a mask to create an image that fades in from left to right. Have a great day. I hope this really improves your projects. I hope you go crazy with it. And it would be really awesome if you would post in the comments a link to a video that you create with uh, these tips. That would be really great. Thank you so much. Have a great day.